We're looking at an English columnar oak here, one of our really awesome oak species that we can grow here in Nebraska. It's on display here at the OPPD Arboretum. We love oaks. They're a long-lived tree species. They tend to last a long time and they're very beautiful. It's probably my favorite kind of tree to see out in the landscape. Because of their longevity and all of the different niches that a tree can offer from the leaves to the stems to the trunk, even down into the root zone, oaks can attract a lot of insects. We don't think of them as very pesky trees. They don't often have a lot of really serious pests, but you can see lots of things living on them and developing on them. One example would be galls. We have lots of different galls that can feed on an oak tree. Oaks themselves have about 750 different species of galls that can live on them. We have jumping oak galls, we have bullet oak galls, apple oak galls. These are insects and mites that create a saliva or a sting that makes the plant develop a house around them, sort of a tumor that they live in and feed in. They typically aren't gonna harm the tree. We would just call these cosmetic issues, so we don't need to treat for galls. There are other insects that you can see though. Here is some oak leaf uh, lace bugs. Lace bugs feed on the leaf surface. They suck sap out of the tree with their needle-like mouth parts. They can leave behind oil-like feces which can look like somebody kind of sprayed motor oil on your tree. Again, not something we usually need to treat for, but if you did a systemic product in the spring, you wouldn't see very many of these on the tree. One issue that we're seeing more and more of though is this oak skeletonizer, where it's a caterpillar that gets onto the oak leaf and kind of chafes off part of the leaf material, leaves behind just a papery thin area with lots of veins inside of it. Again, not something that we typically need to treat for, but if you were to do a systemic treatment also would probably control that pest. Last one I'll mention is called a twig girdler or a twig pruner. These are beetles that they lay their eggs inside of the, the stem of the branch. And so when they do that, they either cut a notch around the branch or they just put their egg in there and the larva does the notching. You'll see leaves and, and twigs that fall down out of the tree. If you just sweep those up and burn them, you'll kill the larva and you'll see fewer of those the next year. But keep planting oaks. We love these trees, we wanna see them succeed, but we don't usually have to do a whole lot for any of these pests that we've talked about here today.